It's recording. Guys, guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey guys, welcome to the Shortcast. I'm your host, Giovanni. I'm EJ. And I'm Sean. And today, we're going to be talking about our past tournament that we played in this weekend. We're also going to talk about the USA Scotland game. Also, we're going to talk about what we got going on next week. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Man, what are y'all doing over what, here? What are y'all doing? <laughs> what? Boy, just, we leave what for two minutes. We leave Golly. for two minutes and they try to come take our freaking job. Is that right? Jeez. Is, is, that, is that how it is? These guys. Can't I can't take nobody nowhere. Everybody thinks this job is easy, huh? Right? No kidding. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Your favorite host, Justin Hale. And I'm your other host, Aaron Bone. And welcome to the, the Shortcast. Shortcast. Um, we've been gone for a minute, man. Not, yeah, not too long. Uh, maybe a couple we, of we've weeks. We've been hanging out. Yeah, we've been hanging we've been out. Hanging we, out. we haven't been recording. I'm sure they've missed us. I've had a few people ask us when we're going to bring us back. You quite know. a few. Like, my mom asked me. My dad asked me. Oh, yeah. That was that was same. My, my girlfriend people, didn't ask me. People though. in Glendale asked when we were going to do oh. it. Yeah, when we went up there. Well, we're happy, to be, we're happy to be back. It's... It's good to be back. It's good to it's be good. back. It's good to be back. I mean, uh, it's always good to be back on the best part of the year. What's that? <laughs> seventh season, you baby. You show right. You show Welcome. right. Welcome. Well, hey, put your seven. That, that's seven? This, which way is it? Se that's it's seven. one of these ways. So that's the seven. Okay. Seven season. Seven season. It's going down. <laughs> For real. Hey, um, man, let's just hop right into it. Yeah. Um, Obviously, we're out here at the pool. And you may be wondering why these guys at the pool. We just finished our recovery session. We just had our first sevens tournament yesterday. Yeah. Um, Long Star Sevens. I think it was like the 49th. No, it wasn't the 49th annual. 39th. 29th. 29th, maybe? 38th. 38th. 38th? I think it's the 38th. It was a high number. Uh, but the annual Long Star Sevens up in Dallas, Texas, hosted by the Dallas Reds. And my, yes. it was a great tournament, man. It was hot, but it was great. It was fun. Hot. It wasn't too bad. I thought it stayed by the 90s all day, so at least it go over 100. Yeah, it was a big turnout. Uh, yeah, but it, it was a really good tournament. So, But we'll talk about Long Star Sevens. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we got Blood Fest coming up, too. Two weeks, baby. Yeah. Can't wait. And, Blood and since we have some people here trying to steal our show, we might as well bring in some guests today. I mean, might as well have some guest stars over uh, here since they're watching us off screen right, right now. First time bringing guests. So we're kind of filming this live, impromptu, little crowd behind us. Y'all can't see it. We don't have a cameraman, so we can't pan around. Just trust us on me. Just trust us. Yeah. All right, man. Let's hop into it. Uh, well, hey, who wants to talk? Who wants to be with us when we talk about this past weekend? Let's go anybody, catch up. Anybody with a shirt on? No, no you don't have to put a shirt on. Come on over, man. Come on, get the good spot. Come behind us. Come right here, sir. Let's scoot on over for you. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Welcome, everybody. Pleasure this is Ryan, Ryan Kretschmar, a.k.a. Ketchup. <laughs> he loves going by Ketchup. We don't know why I think he loves it. Yeah. Um, so as we're talking about, we're talking about the Lone Star, the Lone, Lone Star 7th this past weekend. Uh, it was an outstanding tournament. For those who don't know, um, and well, if you see this, you're probably following the Huns on social media. We finished second overall. Uh, losing in, in a nail biter to Dallas Reds, the home team, Real tight one. Uh, 19 to 12 yep. in extra time, and I mean it was it was a hell of a match, hell of a tournament. Uh, our teams competed well across the board. Ryan, Ryan, how do you think the tournament went for the for the Hunts this past weekend? Well, you know, I think that uh, I think the Hunts really uh, gained some traction. I think that we uh, found some good form. I think that uh, it really, you know, it started off a little bit, you know, a bunch of new guys together. Uh, we really came together at the end of the tournament as a, as a one cohesive unit. So I think that we were definitely developing the right direction. Definitely uh, upward slope for sure. Well, both, yeah, I agree. Both, both I agree. sides, both sides definitely improved every game, and everybody fought tooth and nail in every game. It was it was amazing. It was good, good speed work, good support running. It was fantastic. Support fantastic. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. I, the Huns. So we took two teams there this weekend. So we took twenty. 25 players to play in the opening Tola tournament, yep. uh, which is a, which is a lot. 25 players and and it's a good travel number and not just motley guys, guys who've been coming to practice consistently, which is which is great. Which makes it easy to have a lot more continuity uh, and for guys to know what's going on. Uh, Huns won. I don't remember all the scores, uh, but the the Huns first side for the tournament had an average win of about 30. Mm -hmm. um, where the second tower was probably about 10 to 15. 
um, I think it was only about five scored, five points scored on a, in the, the whole pool play. Oh man, yeah, you know, dang. Yeah, defense is definitely the name of the game. Uh, in the, the pool play stage. I agree. I agree. It was, it was great. Our defense was good. And even then, our pressure, our pressure definitely got on, got in their faces and made them mess up, and we capitalized on a lot of their yeah. mistakes in pool play. What What are some things y'all saw the Huns could improve on from this past weekend? Fitness. I think, our fit, I think our fitness was good, but it's all you can all, yeah, you know, you never fit this, enough. Yeah. You never fit yeah. enough for seven yeah. ever, ever, no, no matter what. Uh, you know, communication more, I think talking more would be would be a lot more. There was, yeah. there, was, there was some communication, but I think everyone can talk better on the field. So always talking. I would I would say. You know, I think that uh the biggest thing is that uh you know a lot of the guys, you know, we're a pretty new team together, you know, playing together and trying to figure out you know the way, way we play together and you know, what the kind of moves that each other make. I think that throughout that tournament, it was just exponentially better game. I think, you know, just uh, everybody kind of feeling each other out and kind of working that that same goal. I think that by the by that time we hit that final, it was actually pretty impressive to watch. You know, oh man! Really, really, we're gelling together, and I, and I really enjoyed playing. And this is just our first, this is just our first tournament. Yeah, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm thinking about players playing together, and I'm thinking about the qualifier team from last year to this year. There were there wasn't two people on the first side from this tournament that were on the qualifier team from last year. Uh, but y'all can see from some of these highlights the type of support, the type of defense uh, that the Huns are running right now. So I'm, I was really impressed this weekend. I was really happy for the for the team and for the guys and how well everybody plays. Today. Absolutely, and especially the uh, the depth. I think the the power at the you know when we put people on for subs like oh, yeah. no no like you know always just an uptick in, in pace and. Uh, you know, precision. You know, every every time we put in a sub, impact play every time. You know, it, that was that was a big thing. For us. Is there anybody who stood out to you this weekend? Uh, several, several. Um, you know, like the, uh, obviously, I think you might have might have had the tournament. You know, for sure. I think that uh, you know, I could, I could, I could, <laughs> uh, I probably couldn't tell you how many times how many times you scored, especially in that final that uh, the backside backside wing. Uh, how many times you scored? Yeah. Huh? How many times you scored? Yeah. Yeah. Five yeah. for five on my conversion kick. Yeah. No, no, yeah. How many times did you yeah. score? Yeah. I got a lot of assists. Does that count? How many times yeah. did you score? There's, there's a half point. Though, I got, right? you know, yeah. I think, I think average one. Yeah, you one that. per game? <laughs> you average one per game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, where's my sheet at? Uh, you green up no, the No, no, one more oh, tournament. One right. whole tournament. Oh, one for <laughs> tournament. Oh, okay, okay. No, so, hey, actually, the uh, leading try score this weekend was a tie between Ross, and Antonio, and, and Ross. Ross. Yeah. Ross, 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 both Ross, seven. And. Ross absolutely had a fantastic game. He really stepped up for us. I think that, uh, you know, he was. He's going to have to you know, teach me that shotgun thing. Yeah, yeah that, 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 you know, all over the place, just, uh, you know, showing people business. And, you know, and before we uh, stop talking about this last tournament, we've been talking about it for a while. But yeah. it's nice. It's nice to talk about winning. Oh yeah, it's always <laughs> uh, it's always nice to talk. About I do have to give a bit because we've been talking about the guys from the first side. But uh, somebody who stood out to me this weekend, David David Lou. Oh, oh David Lou. Yeah, my yeah. goodness. Showing up big. Showing up my big. goodness. I, know, I mean, yeah. uh, David. You were the player, man this weekend. Player of the right. I, I don't know who's the who's the the player the player of the, 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 player of the tournament for the for the second side because we didn't get to watch every game because we played a lot at the same time. But every time I saw, every time I uh, came and watched these guys, David was making a tackle, a making a break, also scoring plays. a try, oh. also play. I mean, he was really, like absolutely. just yeah. absolutely put it on for the team. Yeah, you you could definitely see the experience in, in, in David um, and and the quality of rugby he was playing at UT. David's in freaking law school at UT. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. He, still find, he still found finds time for the club. And, you know, yeah. we really appreciate. He it. Love crunches, to have, we love he to have crunches him out. the right numbers on the place. <laughs> 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 hey, so great job, David. Uh, great job to the Huns. Um, and this is only week. This is only, only game one. one. Only tournament one. one. We got a long we season to go. Long. So next we have. I guess we we'll talk about. So we lead into Blood Fest or USA. We're going to Blood Fest. We're talking about sevens right now. We got the hat on. We need a new guest for Blood Fest, though. Uh, we'll give it up for uh, everybody if you don't know already. This is uh, Giovanni Bonilla. Uh, he does not speak Spanish. Donut. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for having me today. I didn't understand what that meant. What? No. Yeah. No? No. no. Was that Spanish okay. or English? Uh, both. Can I say? Oh, it works. No, say that's Spanish. Me llamo español uh, muy poquito. Ah, sí. Yeah, yeah, sí. Mi, mi también. Mi, 
Hablan español. 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 Hablan <laughs> yeah, tell, tell us about what's going on with Bloodfest and how has Bloodfest usually been a veteran player? Man, I'm, I'm super excited this year for Bloodfest. This is one of the first times that's actually in Round Rock. Um, I grew up in Round Rock uh, my entire life. That's where I grew up. So I'm very blessed to be able to finally get to play in front of a lot of family and friends. Um, you know, usually they, they haven't came to the tournament because of the distance, because of the traveling. So it's, it, it's going to be pretty cool actually playing in the city that I grew up in. And I. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't played much rugby in the city I grew up in, so it's going to be a very good and very fun time. Very hot. Very hot. Town Rock Sports Multi Complex. So, yeah, this year we're at the new complex. Uh, in the last few years, we've been at the Pflugerville Parks. Yep. Uh, but this year we moved to Round Rock because we have more space. And better a nicer, field, better nice facilities. Facilities. Nice Beautiful nice facility. facility. Beautiful. Yeah. Brand new facilities. Oh, pay so, the bills. How has the competition been in the years past for you at Bloodfest? Ah, um, uh, man, uh, the competition at Bloodfest for some reason is, is one of the first. It's one of the first big tournaments that kick off down here in the South, and it's. Uh, I mean, the heat alone kind of kind of brings up the competition, but it's it's the first. It's the first major tournament. And everyone's going in with a head full of steam, and it's uh, it's kind of an eye opener right off the bat. And it's uh, if you're not ready, uh, this is a tall tale. Real, you know, you're gonna get told right away if you're not ready or not. So. Um, I think our boys will be ready to step up to the plate for this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it, should be, it should be a good time, It should man. be great. I, and talking about that, I want to give a big shout-out to uh, Mark Springer and his company, Avatar. Right. The, uh, the headline sponsor yeah, this year. Yeah. He's a hell of a player and great nutritionist, and he's been helping the boys, you know, get what they need on their on their macros. Lean. Getting lean. Super like, I mean, lean. He's not donut no more. I'm, I'm going to be the first gluten-free donut. Gluten-free yeah. donut. <laughs> No, so yeah, so so go follow Avatar Nutrition on Facebook. I think they're on IG. Yeah, they have well. an app. Download they got an the app. app download check it out. App, use their software. Yeah. Uh, Avatar Nutrition. We throw the link. We got a lot of links today. We all gonna be about right here. No, we not, never do a link that high. That's over not, your face. Oh, okay. That's my fault. My Still back here. Just because you want it over uh, your face, don't mean we want it over our faces. Come to Blood Face, June twenty third. Gio, we appreciate you being on the show today, brother. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And don't try to steal our show again. Yeah. yeah. All right, yes. Other than that, man, I don't think I don't think we have anything else. Yeah, we really talked about a lot. We talked about the tournament this past weekend. Boom. Blood fest. Double boom. That's, that's really about it. Uh, good. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess uh, I guess we'll until next time. I'm your host, Aaron Bone. I'm your better looking host. Justin Hale, <laughs> and this, this is the shortcast. Hey guys, welcome to the shortcast. I'm your host, Giovanni. I'm EJ. I'm Sean. And today we're gonna be talking about uh, the USA Scotland game coming up. Uh, we got we just competed. Sorry, competed in Bloodfest. Uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my, my god! god. <laughs> <laughs>